The famous author Bill Bryson said that it's the protons that give an element its identity, but it's the electrons that give it its personality. So what does he mean by that? Protons give an element its identity. Well, it's because it's the number of protons that dictate what particular element it is. Carbon has got six protons. If it didn't have six protons, it wouldn't be carbon, for example. But it's the number of electrons that determine its personality because it's the configuration of those electrons and the number of electrons in the outer shell that dictates how an atom is going to behave chemically and how it forms compounds and also the colour of fireworks. So let me firstly explain the fireworks um, and then I'll explain the chemical reactivity. So in terms of the fireworks, what we're looking at is that each particular element has a different colour when it's um, when it's put in a flame, when it's heated up. And the reason for that, and I'm just going to go ahead and draw you a Bohr diagram so we can remember what um, the electron configuration looks like. So magnesium, remember magnesium um, has an atomic number of 12. So that means that we've got two in the first shell and then eight in the second shell. That gives us a total of 10 and we need two in the third shell. Okay, so we've got two in the third shell. So what happens in um, when an atom is heated up is that it excites the electrons and these electrons can, for a short period of time, uh, jump up into a higher electron shell because they've got a high amount of energy. They've absorbed energy from the heat of the flame and they've jumped up into a high energy level. When they drop back down to their normal resting state, they release that energy again in the form of light. And that particular color of light is specific to a particular element. So one way we can tell what element it is, is by heating it up and doing a flame test. So that's how fireworks work. The reason you get different colored fireworks is because of using different elements and different compounds. Okay, now, it's the number of electrons in the outer shell that dictate how reactive an element is. So magnesium's got two electrons in its outer shell. It's a metal. Uh, what we need to understand is all uh, atoms have a tendency to want to have a full outer shell. So that means they want to have um, either receive another seven, six electrons to have a full third shell or donate or get rid of these two electrons to have a full uh, second shell. And so it's far easier for magnesium to donate these two electrons than it is to uh, accept another six electrons. So it donates two electrons instead. Now, where do those electrons go? Well, they need to be given to or donated to uh, a atom that has space for extra electrons in its outer shell. So I'm going to draw uh, oxygen here because that's oxygen as an example of that. Remember, oxygen is eight. So we've got two. So oxygen wants to have a full outer shell by receiving two electrons. And it can receive those two electrons from magnesium. And so these two electrons would be donated by magnesium. Ultimately then what happens is that magnesium will then have a positive charge because it's given away things that are negative, two things that are negative. Oxygen has received two electrons which are negative, so it then ends up with a negative charge. So these two are, are now what we call ions and they're attracted to each other by this electrostatic charge. So opposites attract, don't they? So they are held together in a chemical bond because magnesium has donated electrons. So that's essentially what we call an ionic compound. Now, 
that's beyond what we're going to be doing this year but it's just helpful to understand um, why the electrons determine its personality electron uh, sorry atoms in group one have one electron in their outer shell they are more reactive because it's easier for them to donate one electron uh, to have a full outer shell elements in group seven have seven electrons in their outer shell. So they are also very reactive because they only need to receive one electron. And now you just get a bit of an idea of why the electron configuration is important and why uh, electrons give um, an element, its personality in terms of its chemical activity.